Hey guys, what's going on? Zach here today and I have another awesome Volts tutorial for you guys. And this one I'm going to show you guys how to make a completely self-sustainable nuclear fission reactor that will supply you with an abundant amount of electricity for all those wonderful machines that this mod pack includes. Um, so first things first, why in the world would you want it? Well, as I previously stated, you need electricity for all the machines that this adds. and this is by far one of the quickest ways to get it. It's not the most efficient way, but I will show you um, a lot of different ways in the future. One thing you have to remember is that this uh, fission reactor works off of uranium, which you get um, um, somewhat deep in the ground. I don't think it's necessarily at diamond level, but it's well past um, well past the coal and uh, iron level, but it's more densely found at diamond level, I believe. Uh, also, you need to build yourself this um, thing called a centrifuge, uh, and you have to supply it with uranium ore, and it will start spinning them around and spitting out uh, refined uranium. Okay, the main thing that you need for this, you need a thermometer, control rod, uh, a sticky piston, the reactor itself, and a bunch of concrete. Uh, okay, now first off, set down your um, thermometer like this with the reactor right behind it. Now dig two blocks down, put a sticky piston at the bottom, and put a control rod right there. Okay, now what you want to do is dig this like a little staircase down to the um, piston right here. Okay, now you also need um, redstone wire and a repeater because this thermometer outputs a redstone uh, signal once something has gotten so hot, and that's what allows this thing to be uh, self-sustainable because it will turn itself off before it gets too hot and you never have to worry about it uh, overloading. Okay, now we're going to take our uh, concrete. The reason we're using concrete is because concrete is very, very blast resistant, and on the off chance that it does happen to overload, uh, it won't cause much collateral damage, if any. So, what you want to do is, you want to build a three wide by three high wall surrounding uh, yeah, surrounding the control rod, um, thermometer, and reactor. And, and what this is doing is this is allowing um, the this, <laughs> sorry, this is allowing for um, us to put water in here. Okay, now, what we're going to do is, can I, oh no, better not do that. <laughs> okay, now what we do is, because all these places, well, actually, if you're, like, really, really paranoid about it, you can put a, um, some concrete along these um, lines right here and it will not seep down and destroy any of the um, redstone. Uh, I'm also going to put a block on here because now we're getting ready to... Uh, whoops. Oh, there we are. Sorry, I couldn't fly there. Uh, we're now getting ready to add the water, so I'm going to deposit all this stuff. We're going to get out our water, some reactor turbines, uh, a wrench, some HV wire, uh, it's not necessary, but I like the look of it, and a battery box, because this is what we're going to be supplying anyways. Okay, now, what we're going to do is put um, water on all sides of the reactor. Now, yeah, I don't believe you have to have these as still sources, but, you know, that classic Minecraft OCD, you just kind of have to. <laughs> okay, now that you have that, uh, put a block of concrete um, on any side right here and we're going to put nine reactor turbines all across the top. Um, oops, not on top of each other because I don't know what would even happen. Probably wouldn't work. But anyways, yeah, you're going to put nine um, turbines all across the surface. Now take a wrench, right click the center, it turns into a massive turbine and this is what's going to be supplying us with energy because I'm not 
sure if everybody knows, but that's how nuclear fission works. It's the uranium heats up water, water spins turbines, yada yada. Okay, now, surprisingly enough, we're pretty much done. I'm just going to plop down a battery box, maybe right about here, and spin it around because, like I said in my previous video, red is input, black is output. So, we're going to take our insulated HV wire, and we're going to not fly around like a drunken idiot, <laughs> and we're going to run the wire sort of straight. There we are. Okay, yeah, we're going to run the wire all the way to the battery box. Now, it's not filling up just yet because it doesn't have any um, uranium. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out a crafting table. Can't believe I forgot to put this down before I even began. Ah, it doesn't matter. So we're going to put down our crafting table. Now we're going to go get the refined uranium that's been um, Create, uh, that's been created throughout the process of this. Now we're going to take the uranium and put it in a three vertical line like that and we're going to get a uranium rod. Now a lot of people argue that it's really really dangerous to fill it up um, and actually it's not at all. What you want to do is you want to go on the opposite side where the thermometer is, break a um, little doorway like that, break that block and block off the water. That way, it's ever flowing. So what you want to do is you just want to walk in here, right click the um, reactor, and then I'll drop the uranium in. And you can just kind of hop in if you want, and it's always open. So what's going to uh, happen shortly, actually let me see if I can't show you that. If you look in, and it does take it a little bit for it to actually start, but you're going to notice that the reactor is going to start spinning. You might be able to see it a little bit. Uh, anyways, what's happening is the faster that it spins, the more that this water is going to heat up. And, um, oh, you can see the turbine on top is spinning quite fast, actually. And we're just going to come back to our battery box, and we are getting power. A lot of power, actually. Wow. So, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you uh, found this useful. Don't go blowing yourselves up. Uh, also, one thing I forgot to note is that um, this thermometer right here, you want to right-click this and turn this down to maybe, oh, maybe about, uh, I would say a, f a decent uh, temperature to turn it down to would be about um, 1800, because I believe 2000 is the meltdown point. Um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. I hope you guys found it rather useful. Uh, I actually wasn't going to show you guys this at first. I was going to show you guys this um, MMO I found a while back. And until I found a flaw with the Fraps um, software and figured out it could it or it refused to um, record my browser or desktop. So while I figured I would do this video for you guys while I'm sorting that problem out. Uh, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. My name is Zach, and I will see you guys later.